Hi everyone, this is Maz and Bambi, two of my six dogs. We've just got back from quite a muddy dog walk, so they're in the bath. But my dogs always have a really good paw wash after every walk because there is a lot of environmental threats around that we can't vaccinate against and I'm a big one for prevention is better than cure. So just a few of the things I use. So this is a paw wash. Um, this is like a 200 ml bottle and there is um, four tablespoons of aloe vera gel in there. There's 20 drops of On Guard, our beautiful protective blend filled up with water and then after every walk before they get into the van they will have a good squits um, of spray either on their paws if they're compliant with lifting the paws up or I'll do it on a, a flannel and just wipe the paws over and um, Maz actually has stumps because he's a bilateral amputee at the back so he gets a, a little bit of a stump spray. Um, then we've got the Don, uh, doTERRA foaming hand wash. So this is my little squeezy hand wash. So I will just put a good few squirts of this in the water so that it's got all the protective blend of On Guard. And then I use, I make my own soap, but it's really easy to get soap bases or you can just carry on using the On Guard um, foaming hand wash. Um, but I make my own soap and I put On Guard in there as well. And so then they can have a really good wash. They're lovely and clean, um, free of mud and um, they smell smell really good as well and it's really gentle on the skin that's the really important thing especially for um, Maz and Bambi who are both incontinent um, so they get washes every day anyway um, regardless of the weather because obviously they need bottom washes but they have beautiful soft skin no irritation because none of the um, the hand wash has like sodium lauryl sulfate in it or anything that can um, harm the skin so really really beneficial um, for sort of protecting those delicate areas and also keeping our pets safe so Two dogs down and I've got another four to go. Bye.